Hello everyone, my name is Ben, or MyKip414. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to install Windows XP Media Center 2005 for VirtualBox. So what you want to do is click on New, then you can name it whatever you want. Let's call it. Okay, there we go. And then you want to set to Windows XP 32-bit. Next. And yeah, why not? Just set whatever memory size you want. Okay. Okay, 10 gig gigabytes. Okay. And then you want to add the disk in. So I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, here it is. And then you click on start. And then I'm gonna resize this window a bit. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is press enter. As it tells you. Okay. And then F8 to agree to the license agreement. Okay. Okay, press enter. And NTFS file system. Okay, so it finished, it finished uh, preparing installation. Now it's going to install Windows. It's going to take 39 minutes to do so for the setup to complete. And it's going to pop up with some uh, stuff that we have to do to get it set up. Here's some interesting facts about Windows XP Media Center Edition. So, this one ha actually had uh, multiple releases. This one. This one I have is codenamed uh, Symphony, the 2005 one. And then the other ones are codenamed Freestyle, 2002, and then Harmony, 2004. And it's different from the normal releases of Windows XP, obviously, with the... You guys see the different graphics and all that, the different moon themes. Alright, let's give it a name. I'll just call it... My kip, alright. Uh, yeah. Just next. Then you want to set the time and date. And time zone. So it's going to install a network. And I guess. Work group. And and it might ask for a party key. I'm not sure if it's going to do, if it's going to show up for this one. I installed it uh, initially and it didn't ask for a party key at all, which is nice. So we can just get a green install version of Windows XP Media Center 2005. So now all we have to do is wait for it to register components, all that good stuff. And it's got a Fricker, of course. Alright, it's finalized and installation. So let's wait for a couple more minutes. It's actually going faster, actually. Alright, please wait. Hey, uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, um, okay. It should open up with, oh, there it is, the open box experience. Or blue box experience, I forget what it's called, alright. 
Welcome to Windows XP. I'm here to help you set up your computer. Well, I'm doing it. Don't need your help. And you, you can set this if you want. It's got to connect to the internet. It should. Uh, yeah. No. Alright. Here we go. My kit. Alright, finish. And there we go. They even asked for... It didn't even ask for a potty key, which is very nice. And obviously, as you can see, that it works very different from the 2001 Wells XP. And it actually has new features from it. Like, for one, it's it's a entertainment home hub or something like that. As the Wikipedia says it is. I mean, as you can tell from the media center. Watch and record TV, play DVDs, listen to music. Watch digital videos and run for spide shows using by using media center. Yep. All right. And I'm gonna end the video off here with searching for my kit wallpaper. Hmm. If we can. Yeah. Why not? Let's do it. It's gonna be very laggy though. Since Bane has been changed a lot, so. Hmm, that's too big of a file for. Uh, Windows XP, are we sure we can use it? I mean, well, I, we just send Veil off here. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, wait, never mind. Alright, well. That'll be it for this tutorial of how to install Windows XP Media Center 2005. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time. Mm, if you want to see more Windows tutorials like this, probably not going to do it very often. So, alright, well, anyways, see you later. Have a good day and goodbye.